Welcome back, everybody. It is the Paul Rodriguez Show. March 11, 2021. Oh, we got a young man in the building. We got that man at a class of 2023. Mr. Braylon James, the freshman Adidas, All-American, recon rated at four stars, getting offers from every school across the nation in the Power 5 zone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in Mr. Braylon James. <laughs> Braylon, how you doing, sir? I'm real good. How are you, Paul? Oh, man, I'm doing wonderful tonight. It's uh, it's a Thursday night. I appreciate you sitting a little late night. Uh, you know, it's about 7.30 in the evening. What are you usually doing about right now? Uh, usually just chilling, to be honest. I'll probably be getting a little bit of homework, maybe play a few video games here and there, but yeah. Is that how you spend your downtime with, with the video games after the schoolwork's done and everything? Yeah, honestly, to be honest, I play video games. I make a little bit of music here and there. That's uh. about the... Yeah, the equipment really wasn't set up yet. I had my microphone right here, and I was like, "Wait, why can't you hear me?" So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We saw the, we saw the little yeah. the little mic was muted, but it's all good. We got you squared yeah. away, uh, Braylon. Man, this this is gonna be a real relaxed interview where we just want to get to know you, the human, and and kind of just let the world know uh, for everybody who's kind of like you know trying to garner your services right now. Uh, how do you feel things kind of? developed uh in, in your second year your second year varsity letterman uh going over to Dell Valley how do you think the season went overall and playing such high level competition in that district honestly I feel like you know personally I'm I'm just a person who always thinks there's always room for improvement so I definitely feel like there was a lot of places I missed but as far as being able to contribute I felt like I contributed really well and I helped my team as far as my next year's contribution I like it to be way higher um I only received for like 442 yards this year and only mm -hmm. seven touchdowns. But um, me being young, I feel like that just shows that, yeah, you still have a lot of work to do. And I felt like that was a reflection on me. And like you said, we play so much high level competition. Yeah. We're in the district with the best two teams in the state, in my opinion, True. you know, back to back state champions, Westlake. And then you have Lake Travis on the other side. So there's always competition. I feel like, um, yeah, there's definitely room for improvement, but I feel like my contribution was definitely yeah, but for you too, like just even in in your own like in your bubble in Del Valley, like y'all have so much talent on the defensive side of the ball. What's it like yeah. going against guys, you know, on the other side, like week in and week out? Um, and then I'm gonna get into a little seven on seven after you get that answer. Yeah, but honestly, uh, it's really crazy. It's good that you mention that because our defense is so underrated. You know, we have players like Jaden Cofield. Um, we had this corner named Lawrence Folky. He's a 23 as well, but uh, he's an underrated cornerback. He's going to be really good. He's going to get recruited uh, soon, I hope. Uh, Caleb Brown, but like you said, it, it's really competition every day in practice, every day in the weight room. Everybody's getting after it. And um, that, that's something – Del Valley is really a force is, is the defense. Now are you yeah. still are you still training with with Derek Lewis the mechanic? I, I see you. Mm -hmm. I see you real active on Twitter with the uh, with Coach Hooks and Coach Flight too. So like, how is that really kind of going on with uh, the seven on seven, and then you like personal training with with the mechanic? How's that kind of coinciding together to help you grow? Um, usually every week I'll do my own personal training, but as far as like weekends, uh, one weekend I'll be with Hooks and next weekend I'll be with Dilu. But as far as like which one I prefer more, something like that, um, it's really none of that. I mean, I feel like they both teach me partic uh, particularly different things that I need to focus on in my game. And um, I feel like both of them are helping me expand my game to where I need to be. I also work with uh, Bernard Blake. Um, okay. Yeah, he's one of our juice coaches as well, but uh, he's been helping me get my footwork down and stuff like that. Uh, we've been building up hip strength, so, yeah, do most you, definitely. Do you think your get off is, like, where you want to spend a lot of time just because we see guys like Devontae Adams, like, at the NFL level have such great feet that, I mean, they almost don't even have to use their hands. But for, like, you still being young and developing your, your craft, do you see that footwork being, like, the most important thing to have that get off? Because for your, for your position, especially – when you be, when you're mossing folks, like mm. when you get that get off, that creates so much separation to have a quarterback get you the ball where they need where it needs to be. But also, uh, you you have this like catch radius. You said I think you said like 83, 84 inch catch radius. Like how does that? Yeah. How does your feet help you get that catch radius expanded? 
You know, um, personally, I feel like my feet work is like the worst part of my game. Like right now, I feel like since I'm one of the bigger, like I'm on the bigger side as far as receiver goes. So I feel like, um, yeah, there's definitely room to improve there. I feel like I'm quicker than most, most big guys my size. I feel like I'm well-rounded and stuff. But as far as my footwork and being able to create separation off the line, I feel like it's pretty solid right now in terms of going against uh, – high school level DBs, but once I get to the college level, I feel like it needs to be a lot better in order to create more separation, like you said, so I can be able to make those uh, big time plays, because at the end of the day, um, if you can't get open, there's really no point in now, being able to make all those. Now, your team, your team you're, 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 on the, you're on Team Juice on 707, is that right? Mm -hmm. Man, yeah. what's, it, what's it like going up against those guys? Those are like elite, elite everywhere yeah. you go. Yeah, we have elite talent all across the board. You know, we have young guys who are really good. We have 24s, you know, uh, Leonard Moore. He just got an offer from Tulsa. Fatu Makuba. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Makuba's little brother. He just got an offer from Tulsa. But as far as uh, talent, there's nothing like there. I feel like, honestly, out of the most seven-on-seven -seven teams, I feel like we're the most underrated, mainly because we don't have as many recruits as the other seven-on-seven -seven teams. A lot of our players are underrated. Like, I can name a few ton of people. We have a lot of people with offers on our team, but mm -hmm. compared to other seven-on-seven -seven teams, you look at teams like Fast Houston, True Buzz, we don't have as many highly named guys as you would see. So I definitely feel like we're one of the most underrated teams, but we're stacked all across the board. Like I said, it's the top talent across Central Texas, and it can't get any better than that, to are be you, honest with you. Are you the flag bearer for the 23 class? Is that you? You said what? Are you the flag bearer? Are you the guy leading that 23 class for, for the for the ATX? Is that you? Are you um, the man? Yeah. Um, I mean, personally, uh, uh, I don't really know who's really leading it. I mean, I'd like to I'd like to be able to say that, but yeah. um, yeah, it, it's really it is what it is. Yeah. So, man, you talked about making music. And you talked about making uh, playing the video games in downtime. Do you do you stream at all? Do you do Twitch? What do you do? Nah, I don't do none of that. Uh, I was actually looking, I was thinking in the car just now, I came back from getting food, but I was like, man, I really want to start a YouTube channel or a YouTube channel or uh, try and pop off my TikTok or something just to uh, explore a different side of my life. Maybe I could do like, I could also do football on the side here and there, but yeah, I've been, I definitely been thinking about doing something like that or like live streaming myself, making music. That's something I always wanted to do too. So yeah, you got to grow the brand, the way things are moving. In the college yeah. world, you got to make sure the brand is just as hype as the talent. You, you and oh, you definitely. have all the talent. Um, as for going to the recon side, I, I founded Recon, and I wanted to have a new show to kind of get, bring a new platform for just to meet the athletes in the area. But one thing <laughs> I noticed with you so early was when you were at that freshman All American camp, and then I kind of saw how much attention you were getting by just the private coaches. I had to like reach out and when I watched your huddle that's when I was like this dude's a four star guy there's just no no yeah. question about it after your freshman and middle of your sophomore year so moving forward where do you see where do you see yourself going to college have you have you located a school is there somebody who's kind of making giving you all the attention or are you still just wide open now uh, I'm still most definitely wide open. I feel like uh, I always want to play uh, in the West Coast. You know, I got the Cal offer, but I really like mm -hmm. them so far. Um, I'm really liking Miami, Arizona State. Um, pretty much all the schools that have offered me, I've really fell in love with. You know, Maryland just offered me. They're great guys. Pittsburgh, they just offered me. Yeah. They're great guys. So I feel like currently it's still open, you know, uh, because of COVID and them extending the dead period. That really hurt because – it ruins athletes as you saw Evan Stewart today he just decommitted yep. um from Texas because he didn't get an opportunity to build relationships with those coaches and actually get an on-campus feel of what everything is like and you know I really feel like that's killing um recruits nowadays because yeah there's really nothing they can do as far as future wise because they don't have a fair look at what the school has to offer yeah and I think it really inhibits y'all's end as far as like experiencing the recruiting uh you know lifestyle environment to kind of go into the campus and getting to meet the coaches and seeing the facilities but on the flip side how is how is the relationship building do you think that schools are kind of going a little bit more out of their way now or does it seem how it was early in the beginning when the, you were still trying to get recruited how is it compared now to the beginning I feel like more schools are definitely trying to go out their way. I mean, 
from my standpoint, that's where I see it from. I know a, a lot of people can say otherwise, but I mean, as far as Twitter following, them having to be updated on social media a lot, you know, uh, before, I mean, I'm still, like, my recruiting process just kicked off, but before, yeah. when I was on Twitter, I wasn't seeing, like, half of the coaches tweeting the stuff they were tweeting, you know, all this different types of things. I feel like they have to I feel like they have to put their school on a higher platform in order to land these top recruits. And, um, yeah, I feel like it's definitely changed a lot. Yeah, I think you're 100% accurate with, like, your recruiting just now getting started because it, it sounds like to me the – and I, I say the powers that be, the 24-7 guys, the rivals guy, they're just now really learning your name. Yeah. And, and so I yeah. think with that attention kind of coming in, you're I think you're going to pop, man. And and I hopefully for your, for your junior year – I hope our gift is that you earn that fifth star for the recon rating because I think that you deserve it. I think your speed with your footwork. And, man, as soon as you just kind of get over that hump, and I think with your footwork and, and your catch radius, I think those are going to be your biggest assets moving forward. But but I, a, a, a little birdie told me, man, and I want to know if this is true. You run a 4-4? Four four? Uh, laser, no. Hand time, I do run a 4-4. Four four. I mean, laser, I'm looking at a 4-4. Four five like a mid four five ish so like a four five five but um honestly that was that was like a long time ago i feel like i can drop my time a, a lot lower and um actually i have the under armor showcase this weekend so we're gonna see where i'm at as far as uh speed wise but i feel like uh my speed is definitely underrated like i said i'm a big guy and people don't see me being able to move that fast but uh yeah well if anybody's watching your huddle they can definitely see you run just that fast Great. um it's been a it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for letting us come into your time. Is there anybody you want to give a message to? Do you want to shout out your your uh, your music? What do you want to leave the people with? Uh, not really. I just want to uh, shout out to my friends and family yeah. uh, for supporting me and getting me to where I need to be. Shout out to you uh, and the whole Recon Athlete team. You know, y'all been staying on top of the whole recruiting in the in the Central Texas area mainly. That's one thing I feel like. Um, really is um, starting to kick off uh, Central Texas athletes getting offered. And I feel like y'all being able to repost that and um, share that with the world really, really means something. So it's that's all, about it. Hey, hey, Braylon, it's our pleasure. Everybody, let's give it up for Mr. Braylon James. Thank you very much for coming in, Braylon. And hey, we much appreciate you. you hey, we'll see you next time, all right? Okay, for sure. Thank, Thank you, you for sir. having me. Yes, sir. Our pleasure. Man, what a what a great young man he is. And dude, he's got the grades too. That's another thing we forgot to kind of get into. But uh, next time we get him on the show, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a lot more information. <laughs>